Many of the things you use every day in the galley can be dangerous if you misuse them. No matter how familiar you are with them, if you don't take proper care, they can cause you serious injury. The health of all your shipmates is in your hands. Make sure that they're really clean before you touch any food. You can never know when your hands are harboring food poisoning bacteria. Good personal hygiene is essential. Always wear a head covering while you're working. Proper footwear is important if you're to avoid broken toes or scalds from spills. Get out and put on a proper shoe, please. Everyone who works in the galley must be supportive of any action that makes the galley a safer place to work. Proper, safe stowage of knives is essential. Knives and boards should be color-coded and kept for specific food types to prevent contamination. You will have been trained in safe cutting technique. Keep your fingers bent. Always put sharp implements where you can see them. A hidden knife is a dangerous knife, especially when underwater in the sink. Check mechanical slicers before you use them. Make sure that the guards are in place. They are safe when used correctly. Never use your fingers to feed the food to the blade. Once you have started cutting, you must keep your eyes on the job. Never let yourself be distracted when using a mechanical cutter. You must clean and bandage any wound or cut. If bandages are used, then you will need to wear finger protection or a rubber glove. Just as important, all food contaminated with blood must be thrown away. And any blood on equipment must be cleaned off and the equipment sanitized to avoid the risk of contamination by blood-borne infections. All incidents where any kind of injury has occurred must be recorded and reported to the safety committee. Was the machine operating correctly at the time? Yes. The committee may recommend changes that would reduce the risk of the accident reoccurring. Complete and truthful accident reporting is an important step in reducing accidents. To prevent contaminating the food, wash your hands frequently and always when going from uncooked food to cooked food. Always follow proper cooking procedures and always keep raw food separate from cooked food to reduce the risk of bacterial growth and the food poisoning that can result from it. You can never see bacteria. Even the head of a clean pin can carry enough to cause illness when left to grow on warm food. Secure everything you're working with, especially hot pans. The ship can move at any moment. Use the guardrails where fitted. I'm going down the free to get these things out. Always tell someone if you're going to the cold store. Be sure that you can locate and operate in the dark the emergency exit equipment and the fridge alarm. Also be sure that the emergency equipment is regularly tested. Cold stores often have wet or icy spots. Slips, trips and falls are common in fridges and cold stores, so tread carefully. Fridges should be defrosted regularly and the deck or duct boarding kept clean and in good condition. You should always stow different types of food separately to reduce the risk of contamination. Stack it so that it will not move in a seaway. Make sure that you have a stock rotation system so that the old stock is used before the new. Throw out any food that is beyond its expiry date. Keep an eye out for any spoilage. If you're in any doubt as to whether you can lift any heavy item on your own, get help. Never risk hurting your back or slipping and falling. 
If you're asked to help someone, do so willingly. Better a little delay than a serious injury. Next time it could be them helping you, saving you from being hurt. Keeping your footing and getting help in lifting is especially important in the large cold stores of cruise ships. You must use a dry cloth when lifting heavy hot things, never a wet one. It won't protect you from the heat. Remember correct lifting technique. Use your legs to lift and keep your feet apart. Try to keep one hand free to steady yourself should there be a sudden movement of the ship. One day you'll be glad you did. The fight against wet decks is constant. The deck tiles need to be kept in good condition and the deck drainage well maintained and free from blockage. Spills must be cleared up right away before anyone can slip or fall. Some of the cleaning agents are caustic chemicals and need to be properly stowed and used with the right protective clothing. The safety information on them must be readily available. Never postpone the cleanup until a more convenient moment. There may not be one. Even with a hungry crew to feed, all cooking must be done under safe conditions. Keeping the floor dry and safe requires constant effort. Breakages too need to be dealt with immediately. Don't let them remain a risk. Get rid of them safely. In large galleys, tension can be high as staff are working in hot, humid conditions to produce hundreds of meals to high standards. To reduce the risk of back injury and slips and falls, senior staff need to check that the decks are safe and clean. A wet or greasy floor always invites slips and falls. Even in dishwashing areas, keep the deck as clean and dry as possible. Alleyways must be kept clear as well as clean. In rubbish disposal areas, rubbish is sometimes dumped without any thought for safety. Don't let this happen on your ship. Electrical stoves need care because you cannot see whether they're on or not. Switch them off as soon as you're finished with them. If they or any other equipment breaks down, switch it off, put a sign on it and notify the engineers immediately. Don't try to fix it yourself. Whenever you're cooking, you must always beware of the risk of fire. No, that's a wrong idea, man. What you should do first, get your bowl, your sweet bowl. Fire! Firefighting equipment must always be ready. Galley staff must be trained in its use. Always use a fire blanket or the right type of extinguisher for the fire. If you're not sure, ask about fire extinguisher types before you're faced with a fire. Good housekeeping is essential in the galley. Always clear up after you and never leave food out. You must have a regular program of cleaning to avoid build-ups of grease and fat in extractor doors and on ducting, as they can cause fires. Cleaning is also important to avoid the hazards of insect and animal infestation. When cleaning, do not wear the clothes you use for cooking duties. An unattended galley is potentially dangerous and needs to be regularly checked. Untrained personnel must not be permitted to operate the equipment in the galley. Safe procedures and good hygiene are essential in every galley. The health of everyone on board depends on the galley staff doing their job properly. One part of this is minimizing the growth of food poisoning bacteria. They grow quickest in warm surroundings, so good temperature control is essential. Either keep the food hot, or keep it cold, or don't keep it at all. Temperature control is important in the preparation of cook chill and microwave packs. So make sure you understand how long this food needs to be heated. Read the instructions and follow them. 
Always take the time and effort to cook safely. Never leave the galley unattended if anything is cooking. Wash your hands frequently and never smoke in the galley. Take care of your equipment and keep the galley clean and tidy. Ask yourself if the way you work is as safe as it can be. Always report any injuries, however minor. Report any conditions that you believe are hazardous. Just because you carry out a task every day does not mean that there is no risk. Keeping your galley safe and hygienic is important for the health and safety of everyone on board.